The Nyabarongo is a major river in Rwanda, part of the upper headwaters of the Nile. Independent reviews show that River Nyabarongo is experiencing heavy pollution from landslides, mining, encroachment, unsustainable agriculture, and domestic and industrial wastes. These factors are made worse by the mountainous terrain, marked by steep slopes along the route of the river. As a result, River Nyabarongo has had a dark brown color throughout its journey for decades. The amount of sediments, trash and debris in Nyabarongo River is astounding. This video shows how trashes are removed at the intake and how sediments from the reservoir are discharged through sluice gates. Nearly 17 tons of debris transported by Nyabarongo River reaches the intake of Nyabarongo One Hydroelectric Concrete Dam every day, meaning that more than 6,205 tons of trashes are removed at the intake of this hydropower project per year. Apart from debris and trashes, the impounding of a reservoir brings about silt deposition and can rapidly result in the loss of reservoir volume. Low approach flow velocity in the reservoir will cause the sediments to get deposited in the reservoir. As the reservoir fills up to the level of the power intake, high volumes of sediment may be drawn into the power intake, head race tunnel. This can cause significant damage to hydro machinery resulting in regular shutdowns and high costs for maintenance. It has generally been observed that the reservoir volume gets progressively reduced starting from the upstream end of the reservoir due to silt deposition and fills almost up to the crest of the low-level sluice outlet and forms a gradual upward slope upstream depending on the silt load and its size distribution. Flushing only clears a reasonable channel along the river by removing the sediments partially. The reservoir of Nyabarongo Hydroelectric Project has been planned to be operated as a run-of-river plant with a small live pondage for meeting occasional peak loads. The total gross storage is approximately 40 million cubic meters. The average concentration of sediment is reported as 1,500 ppm, which indicates that the peak sediment concentration during floods will be much higher and it requires specific and effective sediment management plans. Inflow in excess of design discharge is released for sluicing, which removes bed load and large-sized particles setting down. The invert of the power intake is set 8.0 meters higher than the sluice outlets so that no bed L.